Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have another buy unboxing. I am so happy I found this entire service. It's made collecting so much fun and so much more affordable for me, even though I do have to ship them from Japan and that's not cheap, but overall, like when I allocate the shipping to like the 13 or 14 cards I get per like order, it's just so worth it. I'm just so happy that Baiyi exists basically for people like me. So if this is your first video you're watching from me, I am a BTS photo card collector. I'm like, I'm not super serious about it. I'm kind of just going with the flow because I found them so late and I do want to collect OT7 for their albums, which is a lot. So <laughs> it's definitely just fun for me to go through the website and kind of see like what's out there, what's affordable, what's a good deal and from a good seller. So that's kind of the gist of my collection journey so far. So. I have a new little buddy with me that's gonna help me open these up. I did get this off of Amazon. It's the cutest little cat letter opener. I got three of them for like $5. I got one for my family, one for my sister, and then one for me, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just rip off the top of these green envelopes because these are where like the actual items are like in. When they get sent to Bai, I think they just kind of like store them in the green cards basically, and then they like keep them in bulk until you request your shipping or consolidation of them basically and that's kind of just how they do it so we'll go ahead and do that first and then we'll get started in the actual unboxing okay so let's go ahead and get started i'm just gonna get the first one here basically and i'll move these off to the side i'll put them here are they still in the shot kind of that's better okay so first up for the day is this nice neatly little packed card and I'm gonna get to use my little opener for the first time I'm super excited should be pretty easy yeah I don't need to do it too hard either not that it'll it shouldn't make the card but just to make sure okay so one more I also don't want to nick myself So the first card of the day is J-Hope! Oh my gosh, and this is such a cute... The floral design from this version in Love Yourself Her... I don't want to say it's underrated, but it kind of is. It's so pretty. It feels very like Victorian Renaissance style. I remember when I got that version, I loved the photo book concept. It was so pretty. So I'm going to also cut this off a bit. It's kind of in like a, there you go. So here you have it. This is J-Hope's Love Yourself Her version O photo card. And as you can see here on the back, it's really pretty hollow. And this one was super cheap. It was maybe $5. So definitely very affordable. Super happy with that. Okay, I had a quick interruption, so I had to stop filming, but I did fix the little setup I have here a bit better, so hopefully it's closer. So you can see better what I'm unboxing. So overall with this haul, I did pick up enough to get pretty close to finishing version one, as you can see here, of Map of the Soul Persona, which I was super excited about because of the four versions in Map of the Soul persona this one was my favorite i do like the double like photo card style of it so here we have version one for taeyong and on the back you can see here it kind of like this lining is just slightly holographic i want to say and he's got super bright blue hair in this one but for Compared to like the Love Yourself series, these are more matte for sure. So just a quick side note there. And I also got, I'll talk about it more when they come up, but I also kind of ventured into um, non-album photo cards. And it's the most I'm going to venture into non-album photo cards until I complete more of my album photo card collection because these were not cheap. 
at all. I love this little cutter. It was so cute. I mean, it was, um, it is so cute. It was so simple to find. I think it was like the top two purchases basically. So this is the first of the non-album photo cards that I picked up and I got this one for a really good deal. So the day that I had opened the winter package, it was on a Monday and I just randomly felt like looking online on Baiyi and I looked up BTS card, but card in Japanese to see like any new listings and I didn't even type in winter and this one came up and it was $10, which is such a steal. So I immediately went for it and I figured because it was so recent after you can kind of see the glare from my lights but since it was so close after the release i figured there's no way that they can make replicas that fast and it was also from a reliable seller so i can't believe it i'm actually gonna pick up the young line because i pulled gin and not anytime soon will i be getting any of the maknae line because their cards are just so pricey for the winter package right now but Maybe one day, like I said, down the road with other... Oh, I think I got from the same seller last time. I picked up... <gasps> Namjoon! So this is Namjoon's version. Same as Hobie's, no? Shoot, I can't remember now. But this, I believe, is from Live Yourself Her as well. I love these little... These little translucent 3D like sleeves there. So pretty. Yeah, this is Namjoon's Love Yourself Her. It might be version, oop, I hit myself. It might be version 02. I love this style. Yeah, I think it is because they both have the white on. It just looks like a Renaissance painting or something. It just looks so pretty. So happy to make, this was also $5. So the Tay card was more pricey. It was, I believe, 10 or 12 maybe 14 I, don't know, I think it was 10 or 12 because there were a couple of these version ones of of his um for like 15 or 19 dollars but the namjoon one was the best deal i've gotten because the winter package ones are more on the pricey side too and here we've got another winter package i can't believe it and i haven't seen really good deals since i've been looking for jimin but no luck uh jungkook same tails are expensive like 70 80 dollars expensive for some reason i guess i don't know just the demand so his are definitely pricier for sure so let me get this top loader which i'm not good at opening i think it's yeah let's get this out there we go pretty oh my gosh it looks so good it's just the perfect winter kind of photo card and i like that it's double-sided so i got i got hobies for like 13 or 14 dollars so also a really good deal same as namjoon's so now i have hobie namjoon and jin and jin like i said was the one i pulled in the actual package so venturing a little bit from the norm with their album PCs, but I don't know, just after I opened it, I understand the appeal a bit better. I really do. It was, they're just such nice looking photo cards. They really are. So this is another map of the soul persona and it is another Namjoon. Yay, oh my gosh. This was like the haul of just really good deals that I remember. I always try to go for the more deal-friendly cards because I would rather get, at this point, bulk, like more for my bang for, more bang for my buck, basically. This one was, I think, $3, so it was very affordable. And as you can see here, it has that. What I look for when I'm looking online, besides a good seller, like reliable seller, is down here at the bottom, you can kind of see like a little dash can see it probably better at the top one let me see yeah like this little dash and that's a sign like when they make like the photo cards like from the actual retailer that it's a good oh you know what let me do this there so they're on top on the bottom actually let me just flip because all numbers on the bottom and i just want to 
I guess I get particular like that. Perfect. Wow, this has been a good little even set so far. Oh, I love when they have little notes. And it has an RM sticker. So sweet. I love that. So we've got another love yourself card, but this is love yourself answer. I think I remember which one this is and I'm excited about this one. I love the cute washi tape and the cute stickers of any seller. I think they look so pretty. So this is a nice little note. And this is, oh, it's not Namjoon's. It's, I had bought, I remember I was gonna buy it, but I got Hobie's. This is Hobie's Love Yourself Herb version F, the iconic, super popular design concept, basically for the series and this one is my first yeah the only version I have right now is the one I pulled when I bought the album and I got Jungkook's for that so Hobie is the first one there so I'll put him next to the one already from him this is such a solid haul not that they aren't like they aren't like good hauls all the time but still I already saw what I got I got Yoongi's winter package. This one was pricier, however, it was still cheaper than what I'm seeing like today or even like when I first bought it. This one was not, a, it was $22 I believe, so it was not a cheap card, but unfortunately you're going to see right now this is actually not the most expensive card I bought, but I wanted to get the Hyung line because I had already gotten Jin and I figured... can't open it it's kind of warm in my room I hope you don't hear my my little air conditioner thing too loud but I feel like my hands are just struggling with heat but anyway there we go I wanted to get the Hyung line because I had already pulled Jin and after I saw I think I saw which one did I see first I saw Hobie's first for $14. I thought, okay, I can do this. If I look really like for the other good deals, I actually missed out on one for Namjoon. Sometimes with Bayou, you do get the orders canceled because someone else beat you to it. But that one was actually a little more, I think that one was 13. I ended up getting the 10 or $11 one. So everything happens for a reason. And with Yoongi's, I also got a good deal. It was a good deal. This one, it's also so cute. I love the winter package styling, basically. And they have like a nice little, that's, maybe that's the consistent with thing with me is like the style of it, like here with the paper hearts and then here with like the flat, the, the flame candle. I think it's just, it's a consistent like theme, but not like they're wearing the exact same thing and it's the exact same photo style. So it's a little different, I guess is what I like. So there you have it. Can you focus? There you go. You can see better there. I love it. Oh my gosh. So now I have, oh my gosh, I have like a, I don't think I'm, like I said, I'm ever going to get the Maknae line just because uh, I think Jimin, Jimin would probably be the more, most quote unquote unfordable, affordable. His would be like 50 bucks. With 50 bucks, I could easily get five or six cards and Right now my focus or my main interest is in the collection of album versions for all seven members. So it's just, we'll see. I go through phases because I never thought I would get stuff that's non-album uh, releases photo card wise, but you're gonna see soon. I'm still doing the albums here basically, but you're gonna see I did not just deviate with the winter package. I also deviated somewhere else, so. Next, we have another Love Yourself Her, and this one is Jin's version V, which is just like a really nice, let me get it out. It's almost like a, what is it, like an, ath like an athletic, like college style kind of photo shoot, and you can see there in the back, and there's Jin, 
it's just very simple like plain background the flash i think the flash looks really cool it looks like a photo like like if they have like their college id or something basically i know like i know jin's almost 30 like they're they're far from being college students but that's the first thing that came to my head when i saw and next up oh my gosh it's winnie the pooh that is precious I, I'm addicted to cute stationery. It's just so pretty. I don't own a lot because I shop from two Etsy, Etsy shops, basically. That's where I, like, get my stickers from. But this cute stationery stuff, oh, my gosh. And it was for such an affordable card. And they went, like, all out with it. This is precious. I'm going to keep it. I'm not kidding. I'm going to keep this one and the other one with the note. This one is so pretty. Put that there. So next we've got a map of the Soul Persona card, and this is version two, which I only have one of right now. I have, I got for version two. I got Taeyong. I feel like my voice is really struggling today. I think it's just allergy season because I've noticed that for a lot of my filming, I struggle <laughs> for talking for more than like five minutes straight. Maybe I should just take off the sticker. No. Oh, there we go. That's better. I don't want to like bend too much. Not that it'll mess it up, I don't think, but just to be on the safe side, right? I love the washi. I remember when I went to California to visit in December 2019. When I went to a mall, there was this stationery shop and I was thinking about going in, but I thought, I don't wanna buy stuff I'm never gonna use. I should have gone in. <laughs> then I would have bought stuff that I could use now, but hindsight's 2020. There we go. Perfect. So now I have another one of version two. I have Yungi's version 2 and like I said this one was maybe four dollars maybe five dollars I'm saying the prices but I also really this was ten dollars because every single purchase has a five dollar fee with it so like for Nam Dunes, this one was ten or eleven plus the five it was fifteen or sixteen so I am taking that into consideration and that makes these hauls like more ideal for me because shipping is also expensive so I'm only spending money on photo cards right now. I don't even go out to eat, like at restaurants or anything with the pandemic and with um, like, I don't go shopping or like, I'm trying to think of stuff. Just places I would normally spend like my extra money on, I'm not. And I now have made a sinking fund for photo cards. So I'm like mid-level invested. <laughs> I'm not super committed to getting every version out there. Like I know they do stuff for tour. I know they do stuff for all of that. And maybe I will one day, like if you're watching this like three years from now and I'm doing that, I wasn't doing that three years ago when you, when this was filmed, but that's kind of like where I'm like investing also. I'm not, I'm basically done with the albums. Any versions I'm missing, I don't want to get. I want to get in person once I'm vaccinated and I can go shopping again, just to save like a thrill like for a later time. But yeah, that's kind of some background on that. And we have the first non-album PC I was talking about besides the winter package. So this is Jin's Memories of 2019 photo card, the DVD one. I did get the 2019 DVD because I figured like years from now, I see the 2017 one or the 2016 one sometimes in halls and it feels like so nostalgic to me. And I figured right now it's still up for the normal sales price on Weavers. I just wanted to get it for my future self basically. And I'm really glad I did because memories of like 2017 or even 2018 and all that, would not be cheap if I wanted to get it later. So I feel like that would be like my end game collecting wise would be to get one of those. But by the time I get to that point, it's gonna be too late and they'll probably be like 400 bucks. So when I got the 2019 one, I understood why people like to buy these. I don't know what, maybe they're like a higher quality, the picture kinda like compared to here. There was just something about the quality of it. I was so like, intrigued with it and what also appealed the most 
I'm just gonna get it out. I'm scared I'm gonna scratch the card. What appealed to me the most was because I got Jungkook for the, for the DVD. And his card would have been like 50 bucks or something. So it made it more appealing to me to get the other members once I found good deals. I got Jin's for I believe 26 or $27, which is the most recurring price I've seen for it on Baiyi. So I went ahead and I bit the bullet and I got Jin's and it's such a nice card. I love the style like of his Dumbo shirt and like the, I guess it's just like a simple background, kind of like with here, like what I was saying, like there's like a prop kind of quote unquote prop with the heart here with the rose, but like their style is still different to each member. It's not like a super identical. And here's the back. You see the memories? Very nice. So yeah, that's kind of why I started getting into that. I think if I had similar to the winter package, like if I had pulled Jin for say that one, I probably would not be wanting to get all the members. I'm thinking of getting Taeyong. Maybe I'll get Tays. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, oh, here's Jimin. But yeah, I have one for Taeyong for $50 in my cart. Like just to like have it, like if I ever do want to buy it. But they just released the Lucky Draw for B Deluxe Edition. And one of them is at the Grammys. Um, they're... Well, I feel like my tone's very like Valley Girl right now. There's one of the Grammys when they performed, and I really want the group card, so I think that 50 is going to be allocated to that instead. But we'll see. One day I'll finish. One day I'll finish the collection. One day. So next, we've got the most expensive photo card. In this haul and probably ever except for those lucky draws that i'm gonna buy at least right now in spring of 2021 this is jimin's memories of 2019 and this is the back this is not like invented or anything i don't know why i keep like swiping over it but this has been such a good haul like in terms of balance here wow i love it this looks like such a pretty picture so very happy with the photo cards I picked up in this month's haul. This is kind of overlapping with the last one too though. So here's the final card and it is dun 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 Hobies! Here is Hobies Memories of 2019 card. I love it. I love the styling like I said. Shoot, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14, 15. So I got, I did not get an even amount this time, but uh, let me move this down a bit. That's not going to be even, but it's okay, just so you can see them all in one shot. This was an investment improvement in my collection because I did pick up cards that are not from regular Korean album releases. I haven't mentioned that either. I am interested in just collecting the Korean albums. I did get the run Japanese version with the group photo card, but I'm not gonna collect, at least right now, I'm not gonna collect the members for those. So I am more focused on that, but I did deviate in this one, but I think I got some really good deals here, especially with Namjoon and Hobie, because even their cards, while they tend to be more affordable, I haven't been seeing them for affordable, for affordable prices lately. So I did get lucky there. I've nearly completed my version 1 and my memories of 2019. I'm just missing, I think, two for version 1 and one for version... Two for version... Uh, for memories of 2019. So, that's kind of pretty much 80% there. And I will get there soon enough, like I said. I'm going to eventually collect that Taewon, but we'll see. Maybe in... If I do pass, God willing, if I pass right, maybe I'll do it as a prize or a treat for myself. I remember I bought an album when I passed BUC, so I might do the same there. We'll see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave any questions down below or comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.